We present our expert review regarding proteinuria during pregnancy, definition, pathophysiology, methodology, and clinical significance. Urine analysis for protein is one of the most commonly performed antenatal screening tests. For more than 100 years, proteinuria was necessary for the diagnosis of preeclampsia, but recent guidelines recommended that proteinuria is sufficient but not necessary for the diagnosis. The rate of isolated proteinuria in pregnancy may reach 8%, whereas preeclampsia occurs among 3 to 8% of pregnancies. The objective of our expert review was to describe the current knowledge regarding the pathophysiology, definition, methods of assessment, and clinical significance of proteinuria in pregnancy. Regarding measuring of urine protein excretion during pregnancy, although the reference standard for measuring is the 24 hours urine collection, spot urine protein to creatinine ratio is a reasonable rule out test for proteinuria. Urine dis dipstick screening for proteinuria does not provide any clinical benefit and should not be used to diagnose proteinuria. How much is too much? The classic cutoff cited to define proteinuria during pregnancy is a value of more than 300 mg per 24-hour urine collection, or UPCR of at least 0.3. Following our literature review, we can see that although this threshold is widely accepted, its origin is not based on evidence on adverse pregnancy outcomes, but rather on expert opinion and small studies. The most important factor that influences maternal and neonatal outcome is the severity of blood pressures and the presence of end organ damage rather than excess protein excretion. Because the management of gestational hypertension versus preeclampsia without severe feature is similar, in the frequency of surveillance and timing of delivery, we recommend that the separation into two disorders is really unnecessary. Our recommendation is that urine assessment for proteinuria will be unnecessary for women who develop new onset blood pressure at or after 20 weeks of gestation, and we do not recommend repeated measurement of proteinuria for women with preeclampsia. Our recommendation for the management, evaluation, and management of women with gestational hypertension or preeclampsia is listed here.